learning Rabbi Yoyna on Pirkei Avos. We wrap up Baruch Hashem, the first Perek of Pirkei Avos today, and we continue with Mishnah Yud Ches. And Mishnah Yud Ches is a little bit interesting, as we'll see from the name, because yesterday we learned Shimon Ben Yoyimer. Shimon taught about the power of speech, the importance of silence. We said, who is Shimon Ben Yoyimer? Shimon Gamliel. Today. Begins the Mishnah, Rabban Shimon ben Gamliel Omer. So interesting nuance that it went from Shimon ben Oi to Rabban Shimon Gamliel Omer. The world stands on three things. And if you remember, we already had Al Shlaisha Dvarim Ha'ilam Oimid. Tayravoy Demil Gvils Chasadim. But now the Mishnah says, Al Adin Vala Emes Al Shalom. On justice, truth, and peace. Shenemar, Emes Umishbat Shalom. Truth and justice of peace, shift to Bisharicha, and you should judge in your cities. So says Rabbi Yaina, Rabbi Shimon Gamli Alaim, 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 that the dinim, the judgment, should be absolutely MS truth. Vala MS. So the world stands and didn't MS and Shalom, Vala MS, Shish Adam Lechel, Vidarki, Akadish Baruchu. What does this mean that a person has to follow in the ways of Hashem? Shehu MS, Hakadish Baruch Hu Hashem is MS is truth. Vitoy Rasoy MS, and his Torah is truth. Vahoylich Vadarach MS, and he walks in the path of truth. Gamkin Adam, so to man, Yilich Baisa Darach, this is the path that we have to walk. Shenemar, Vahlachta Bidrachov, the obligation to mimic and walk similar in the ways of Hashem. Vamru Chachamim, Chachamin Uzal, teach the Chachamim, Shafilu Sipar Tvarim Ba'alma in Leladim Lashaka, even in Stam words, even in conversation, even in just talking. One has to be careful not to lie, Kehu of the Divri Rav, like the story with Rav and his son. Amar Lei, and now the Gemara teaches that Rav's Amar Lei, Mala Imach. So, he said to her, I know I was the one that d- d- um, is doing it. So over here, it's actually very nice that in the English over here, it gives you a little bit of the background. As we know throughout Shas, the Rav's wife was not such a simple woman. And whenever he asked to cook one thing, she would cook something else. He said, cook lentils, she cooked peas. He asked for peas, she cooked lentils. When their child, Chia Barav, grew up, he would pass by, and what would he do? He would do the opposite. So Rav would want lentils, so he would tell his mother, make peace, so that his mother would make lentils, which is what Rav wanted. So Rav once said to Chia, his son, that his mother seemingly changed, because everything he gets is good now. Amr le mali imach, your mother became better. Amr le, so the child responded, I know, no, she didn't get any better. I just learned that if I ask for peace, she gives me lentils. So what do I do? I ask for the opposite, so I get the right thing. Omar Lay, Rav responded, Hainu Damri Inchi. This is what people say. Your children should teach your senses. But you should not continue doing this. You're teaching your tongue to talk lies. So we see that even though he would just change the words, why? Because he knew that she would do the opposite. And he wanted to give his father, the Heliga Rav, the thing he wanted. But still Rav said, no, that's so careful. You have to be about Din, about MS, the way HaKadosh Baruch Hu is. Why? Says Rabbi Yoyna, Ki Adam Amar Galashayin, L'Dabir Shekher B'Dvarim, a person that accustoms himself to talking falsehood. Shame them, they have to tell us. Even when there's nothing to really gain from Ovid, from like in this case, Chia didn't gain anything. But if you accustom yourself, you're margal to talk such a way. Then when something important, when a critical matter comes to you, you're not going to be able to listen to the words of Rabbi Yoyinu. You won't be able to, a mouth that always took lies, will not be able to talk truth. Because he's accustomed to um, lying and therefore it's become normal to him. And unfortunately you see this, you sometimes wonder what's that person doing? He just doesn't know what he's talking about. Does he realize that what he's saying is lies? And the answer is, unfortunately, when you fall into this dreadful trap, it just goes and goes on its own. And we conclude this. Barak v'Allah Shalom. Shalom hu kailel kol tov sheba Peace.
is everything. And its benefit is endless. We know this is why we conclude Shemona Esrei, the bracha of Shalom, the bracha that is a machzik, that holds all bracha, is a mazel tov on the first parak, and continuing looking forward to learning further with the entire Chevra.